Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Phil Derber right here in the capital city of Frankfort, Kentucky, and just delighted to be able to share with you the truths of God's word once again. Luke 1 37 says, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. I'm Pastor Faith Victor Church, and uh, my wife is not uh, with me in the studio today, but the Lord is, and you are, and we're going to have a good time uh, getting into the Word of God. We're thankful for being on WFBN, uh, Pastor Bob Tilton, and uh, his uh, tenacity to uh, get this network built and expanding, and and uh, you know uh, he he don't he don't he don't stop, and uh, it's it's a joy uh, being able to be a broadcaster, and I'm sure all the other broadcasters feel the same way, and uh, you know you, you you got this available to you. I mean, if you haven't downloaded the app, get the app on your phone, and and uh, you know you can watch. Uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, faith-building messages that will cause you to have good success. You know, uh, Pastor Bob's big on whole person prosperity, and uh, I believe it. I believe the Word of God backs that statement up. And uh, but you got to use your faith. You got to use your faith, and so we're glad. Uh, that you're able to be with us uh, for the next half hour and hopefully throughout this week. Hope you're enjoying the testimonies that we've been sharing. You know, these are uh, people that have been touched by Jesus, and and I, I know them personally, and and uh, and they go to this church, uh, most of them, and uh, it's just wonderful uh, hearing what God has done and is doing in the lives of his people. So uh, this week, I want to get into a subject of honor, a subject of honor. And our springboard verse is over here in 1 Samuel 2. 1 Samuel 2. And, you know, the Lord uh, spoke this to me. Uh Oh, I don't know when it was. Sometime back. And then I ministered on it in one of our conferences. And then uh, my staff put this book together out of what I preach, The Law of Honor. Honor is a law. And, and how we uh, arrive at that is in 1 Samuel 2, verse 30, where it says, Wherefore the Lord God of Israel saith, I said indeed that thy house and the house of thy father should walk before me forever. But now the Lord saith, be it far from me. For them that honor me, I will honor. And they that despise me shall be lightly esteemed. Now this is the law of honor. Now he's addressing a situation where uh, the leadership is not Honoring him, uh, honoring him, but he makes this statement, for them that honor me, I will honor. Now, honor is big to God, and honor should be big uh, to uh, every believer. We don't want to be dishonorable. You know, when somebody gets a dishonorable discharge, it's because their behavior was uh, not... Uh, acceptable in the military uh, service that uh, they had enlisted into. And so uh, when somebody gets an honorable discharge, then that's a statement that anybody that sees their DD-214 <laughs> form, that they can see, okay, uh, that speaks volumes. They've, they've, they've got an honorable discharge. So uh, the ICB says it this way. But now the Lord says this, that will never be, I will honor those who honor me, but I will take honor away 
from those who do not honor me. Oh, boy. Now, see, this is the, the law of honor. And, and, and if you want this book, uh, you can uh, call our office, 502-875-7886. And I don't know. It's, it's just gotten back from the printers. I don't even know if they got it up on the website yet. Uh, but uh, you can contact our office uh, and... Uh, maybe it maybe it is on the books and it is on there. Okay, just go to our website faithvictorychurch.us and scroll down to the bookstore and you can order it that way. It's it's it's, it's a powerful tool, powerful tool. The uh, NCV Bible says it uh, this way. But now the Lord says this must stop. I will honor those who honor me but I will dishonor those who ignore me. Woo! I want to be honored by the Lord because when the Lord honors you, he just don't uh, honor you invisibly. He honors you visibly. And we'll get into that uh, later on. And then the NLV says it this way. But now the Lord says, may this be far from me, for I will honor those who honor me, and those who hate me will not be honored. Now, with that in mind, let's look at what Jesus said over here in John and chapter 5, because this is an eye-opener when you understand that uh, honor is a law. Because... When you accepted Jesus as your personal Savior, the Bible says you've been brought out of darkness into his marvelous light. You've been translated, translated into the kingdom of his dear son. So there we are, one moment in darkness, next moment you're in the kingdom of God. Now, in that kingdom is laws. All kinds of laws. And, uh, and there's a king, King Jesus. And uh, King Dom is a king that has dominion. And uh, he has given us that dominion to rule in the kingdom by being a law-abiding uh, citizen in the kingdom. And to do that, you got to know what spiritual laws are. I mean, you know, you go out in, and you're driving your car and, you know, the policeman pulls you over because uh, you're speeding and you're doing, uh, you know, 55 in a 35 uh, mile per hour zone. But you didn't see the sign. You didn't know. You thought 55, well, you drive 55 everywhere else. Uh, it must be 55 here. Well, uh, because you didn't know that that law had changed from 55 to 35, it's going to cost you some money. See, you missed the law. You missed a sign. Well, in the kingdom of, of God, there are spiritual laws. Law of faith, law of seed time and harvest, the law of love. Uh, the law of liberty, all these different laws. And the law of honor is right there uh, with them all. And, uh, you know, God's not mocked. How, whatever we sow, we'll reap. You sow dishonor, you're going to reap dishonor. And you sow honor, you're going to reap honor. So Jesus in chapter 5, he says... Uh, in verse 23, that all men should honor the Son. All men should honor the Son, the Son, Jesus. And the Son is the Word of God. So all men should honor the Son, the person, Jesus, and the Word of God. There are a lot of people that are dishonorable when you when you when you even say the name of Jesus. They, I mean, they're 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 blasphemous and they do uh, blasphemous 
uh, acts against uh, the Son, Jesus. And when you do that, we just read how the law works. If you dishonor God, God will dishonor you. I ain't talking about, uh, you know, you, you might have uh, men that are giving you trophies, plaques, putting you on the front cover of a magazine, calling you the person of the year. But if you are doing dishonorable things to the Son, if you're not honoring Jesus, if you're not honoring this Word, I mean, the Word, uh, you know, it makes no difference what my opinion is. What's His Word say? I got to change my opinion and honor the Word. I got to, I got to, I got to change how I've been doing things if I see something in here that my actions or my words have been contradicting the Word of God. So when I get in to the Word of God and I see that, then it's the honorable thing to become a doer of the Word. So Jesus said that all men should honor the Son even as they honor the Father. He that honoreth not the Son honoreth not the Father which has sent him. Oh, see? Well, I believe, I believe in God. I just got a real problem with Jesus. Well, you got a problem, all right. You got a big problem. Well, I just think he was some sort of prophet, and when, he, when he's crucified, he died just like all the other prophets. You got a problem because you're not honoring the Word. The Word says he rose from the dead. He paid the penalty for all of our sin. He became a curse to redeem us from the curse. And... All men should honor the Son. Now he goes on to say in verse uh, 41. Now watch this. This is powerful. I receive not honor from man, period. I receive not honor from men. Now there's, a, I tell you what, there's a whole lot of folk in this world that we live in they're seeking honor that men give. They want to look good in front of people. Listen, listen to me, saints. There are going to be times when you're honoring the Word, when you're honoring the Son, when you're honoring the Father, that it's not, it's not going to be uh, overwhelmingly received. And see, a lot of people compromise. They'd rather be men pleasers than God pleasers. Certainly there's honor that comes uh, from somebody uh, doing a, a job well done, so on and so forth, and uh, rightfully so, and we'll get into that later. But Jesus said, I receive not honor from men. It says over in the book of Philippians, he made himself of no reputation. Hallelujah. He wasn't going around, uh, you know, uh, trying to self-promote himself. And he goes on to say uh, in verse 44, How can you believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that comes from God only? Only. Let me read that again. How can you believe? How can you believe? It messes with your belief system. When, 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 you're, when you're messing with this law of honor, when, when you're shifting from the law of the kingdom, the, the honor that comes from God only, and you're looking for honor that just comes from man, how can you believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that comes from God only? See, uh, if there's one thing I want to do is uh, live an honorable life and honor uh, Jesus, honor uh, the Father, and honor the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit among us. Honor His Word. I, wanna, I want, when, when, my, when I've done my assignment, when I've finished my course, 
I want my legacy, if Jesus uh, should tarry, I want my legacy, for those that really know me, you're always going to have those that like, well, finally that crazy guy is out of here. But those that really know, say, now that was an honorable man. Not based on, uh, you know, uh, self-promotion, but just living my life by this word. Now listen, listen to me now, because uh, if anyone uh, chooses, and that's how you do it, chooses to try to run around the laws of the kingdom, it's, it's, not, it's not like uh, the uh, laws of the land here in America and around the world where some, some people get away with cert certain stuff. You know, I was, I was uh, locked up 20 times, looking at 21 years in the penitentiary, see? Uh, and for each time that I was arrested and, and uh, locked up, I was guilty. I was, I was a sinning, sinning person. But there were many times I, I, what I thought got away with it. But, you know, there's this saying in the world, you can't outrun the long arm of the law. Well, uh, there's been people that have. And, and uh, you know, they haven't been caught and, and punished. Even people that have lived their life, uh, you know, uh, doing uh, crooked and perverse things and have uh, never were found out and have left this planet. Well, there's still a reaping that's coming. See, unless they made Jesus their Lord, there's still a reaping that's coming. But in the kingdom, listen, listen, we want to live honorably. There's, there's, there's rich rewards, and we'll get into that uh, later on this week. There's rich rewards in living, living honorably. Now, here, here we are again. How can you believe which receive honor one of another and seek not the honor that comes from God only? Hallelujah. Now, if you, you got you to you examine yourself because a lot of uh, living this honorable life it's going to take faith because people say things, uh, they'll uh, do things behind your back or they'll do things right in front of you. And how you respond uh, is going to be uh, a, a key factor in walking honorably. Yes, there's times you have to confront. There's times when uh, you have to uh, voice a certain things, especially if you're in a, a leadership capacity. Uh, but you can do it in an honorable way. You can do it uh, in a way that uh, brings light to the situation without a whole bunch of uh, strife and so on and so forth. So uh, Jesus said, I receive not honor from men. I'm not looking for it. I only want the honor that comes from God only. And when God honors you, he promotes you. That's, that's uh, you know, in school you have the honor roll. You know, and, and uh, the straight A students. You know, the 4.0s. And uh, you have uh, those honor students and uh, then... Uh, you know, there's even more honor to those that uh, graduate, uh, you know, magnum cum laude. They're, they're, they're uh, recognized. They're honored in front of uh, their classmates and families as a job well done. It's honorable. You know, you go in front of a judge, it's your honor. Don't ask me how I know, but it's your honor. And, uh, and you address, address that uh, judge that way. Yes, your honor. No, no sir, your honor, or ma'am, whatever it may be. And uh, 
the reason, uh, you know, the, the judge will walk in, all rise. Everyone stands up. The Honorable John Doe is presiding. He, he comes in, he sits down, and he says, you may be seated. Takes his gavel. His court's now in session. And he's the one that's going to uh, supposedly, you know, we're talking about a, a, a constitutional judge. We're talking about a judge that is upright and, and knows, knows the law. And he's going to rule honorably. You get a crooked judge, and we got a bunch of them in America and around the world. You get a crooked judge. And then you you know if you get, if you get a judge that don't need, don't don't know what a woman is, you already got a problem. It's already crookedness there. There's already corruption there. See, and so when you have when you have that kind of uh, dishonor in a honorable position, it's not gonna it's not gonna end up good. It's not gonna end up good for those that are under that. Ruling, it's not going to end up good for, for that dishonorable judge. Why? God, God said uh, that if you, don't, if you don't honor me, I will dishonor you. Now, this is the law. But if you honor me, I will honor you. Now, we're going to look this week uh, at how we are to honor the Lord, how we are to, uh, you know, Live, live honorable lives, and what all's involved in that. Because the Bible does, Jesus just didn't say these uh, honorable verses in chapter 5 and then just leave us to, you know, try to figure it out. No, it's in Scripture. It's in Scripture how we are to honor. And, uh, you know, if you're doing anything uh, at all, the Bible says do it as unto the Lord. And when you do it as unto the Lord, you should be doing it in an honorable fashion. You should be doing it in a way that pleases God, see? Because uh, if, if there's anyone that deserves honor, it's the Lord Jesus. All that substitutionary work that he did for us, becoming a curse to redeem us from the curse, by his stripes we are healed, he became poor that we through his poverty could be made rich. Le living that example of sinless life, giving us righteousness, cleansing us with his blood. My goodness, the list goes on and on and on. He is worthy of honor. You know what, you know what Father God did? He set him at his own right hand. You sit right here. He honored him. You sit right here for eternity. You sit right here beside the Father. Hallelujah. You say, yeah, but that's Jesus. Well, yeah, we're joint heirs. And uh, going back to that uh, first verse there in, in verse 23, that all men should honor the Son. And you cannot separate Jesus from his word. You can't do it. His word, uh, you know, there's... Religion will act like they honor Jesus, but yet they're, they're living a life that's contrary to the Word of God. You can't, you can't do it. Jesus and his Word is one and the same. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God, John 1.1. 1, 1. So uh, as we examine the Word of God, as we see what the Word of God says, the honorable thing is to renew our minds to what God's Word says, become a doer of what God's Word says, and in doing what the Word says, we are honoring the Son, we are honoring Father God, we are living honorable lives. This, this, this honorable book, which we call the Bible, will never tell you to do dishonorable things. Never. Never. See? So all this week, we're going to be looking at the law of honor. And again, uh, you want this book, uh, it's available 
Uh, you can contact our office, 502-875-7886, or go to our website, faithvictorychurch.us. Scroll down to the bookstore, and you'll find it there. Click on it. it we just got it in. Just got it in. It's, the, the, the ink ain't even hardly dried. <laughs> we just got this book in, and uh, it's, it's, it's an eye-opener. It's an eye-opener. Well, our prayer line's at the bottom of the screen. It's there for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So thankful that you were able to share this time with us. And if we're being an inspiration to you, inspire us right back. You can go to our email, help at faithvictorychurch.us and say, hey, you guys, you guys are speaking into my life or whatever. And if you have a prayer request that way, put it, put it in there and shoot it to us and we will pray over it. Our time's gone. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 4 says, where the word of a king is, there is power. Be a blessing. The Power of Faith programs are available on YouTube 24-7, so you can watch from anywhere at any time. Search for Power of Faith on YouTube or go to youtube.com forward slash power of faith. Subscribe and click the bell to make sure you're notified whenever new episodes are posted. If you missed the episode or you just want to go back and watch it over and over again, the Power of Faith YouTube channel is there for you.